What's going on everyone? Today we're working on Mark 3 of the Mega Loop. We currently have the Xbox One and the PlayStation 3 Slim hooked up to this loop. We're going to go ahead and add in one of the Xbox 360s. It will probably be the Stealth build and then this will be the last one we'll add in. One, I kind of want this one I think to just be on this shelf here and it's close enough here that I can loop it in with one of the other loops instead of adding another pump. So we'll probably do the stealth build on this one. First things first, I already started to kind of drain some of the fluid out. See here. Uh, I've also started working on gathering parts for the final project here. Obviously, right now we're doing different tests. So I'm adding in different loops, making sure it can handle it. Um, obviously it's kind of messy, there's wires everywhere, that's not how I plan to have it for the final build. Um, one, we have two of these pump mounts now, so we can take both of our DDC pumps at the bottom, we'll mount one to this radiator, the other one to that one, so they'll be sideways here, and then that'll clear up this space down here to probably have the other two pumps side by side. And then I'll have basically two of these reservoirs. One will be just like this on top of the first pump. And then the other one will be next to it or behind it. And they'll basically look identical. I'm going to have the same tubing, uh, the same silver nickel bottom piece. And then so each one will be above a fovea pump. And then I'll just take one of these and go straight into this pump and then the other one will go straight into the other pump there and then there'll be same thing two tubes coming from our main reservoir up here they'll come in to the top uh, final build will have a pass through at the top so I can just connect these tubes to the top and then the next ones here so I can just unplug those and remove this and then the two tubes will come down one into each reservoir so they each have their own feed and then there should be enough because I don't want to have just one reservoir in here and have three to four pumps trying to draw from the same one and then hope that this one tube coming in the top here is going to be able to keep up with keeping this reservoir full so I think splitting that up is the best way to go so for this build that we're doing today um, I'm just going to go ahead and use this connector on here and then use this 250 millimeter which is actually like 213 millimeter tube right next to it so that'll be the two that we use um, while we set up this loop so we do need to finish draining this out start taking some stuff apart and see where to go from there all right so we do have a lot to do in this round of adding another system to our mega loop. Um, I want to get a lot of the groundwork done and kind of clean stuff up because I don't want to have to redo absolutely everything again. Um, this is just the Mark III where we're adding our third system and our fourth pump and just make sure everything is working. Um, like I said, the final product will be, you know, there's not going to be hoses everywhere and wiring everywhere and all that kinds of stuff. We just want to make sure we uh, get a lot of the stuff done ahead of time. That way, when we go back to redo it and kind of do the finishing touches, we don't have to absolutely take everything apart. So one thing is these brackets, like I said, one here, one here. So we want to get those pumps up. We want to have these two pumps set up correctly. Um, now, like I explained, our reservoir system we're just going to do something to test it for now and while we wait for other parts to come in and actually have the final look of how two tubes will come in and split off into the reservoirs and all that kind of stuff. We also want to wire in these switches and our temperature display. Um, these switches will be for our two phobia pumps so that they don't have to be on. These two will have to be on at all times as long as one of the systems is on because one is drawing from our big reservoir, cooling everything, and the other one's returning it back. 
so those will always be on and then these will just be on you know one will be for the ps3 one will be for the 360 they don't need to be on at all times um like i said on our ps3 we removed our radiator i said i was doing that so now we just have the in and out these two red tubes um on our out we have a uh flow meter there like i said i want to have a flow meter on everything we've got our one in our xbox one one here uh, I do need to add one to the 360, and then there'll be one inside the main loop there, which we already have right here. Um, now, I will be taking that one out and putting in a Primo Chill. Um, I think it's called the Vortex Flow Meter. That's the one that will be inside the system, so this one will probably be added to one of the 360s. And then I still need one more for the other 360. Um, now there'll technically be four councils plus this. So I only need four flow meters because there's one per pump basically. So we just want to make sure that they're all running. Um, inevitably one of the pumps will do two of the systems. Because obviously one of them is just to cool everything. Or we can use that one cool everything and then maybe go through one of the 360s or something we're still figuring that out but for now we got that done and then our 360 here you can see we just have an in and out there's no more reservoir up here um we replaced our fans with the clear uv ones so this one's connected to where the pump went those three are connected to our original fan I did swap out our temperature display. I'm sure everyone agrees that the orange just really didn't match anything at all. I don't have very many options though. We just have blue, red, orange, and I'm not sure what this one is. I assumed it was blue. It had this sleeving on it. I'm going to find out soon. We'll fire it up and just, one, make sure our fans are working, see what color this temperature display is. If it's uh, also orange or something that doesn't really match, then we can... Uh, Either I, I can only put really the red one or a blue one in, but we'll see. So, got a lot of cleaning up to do. Spilled a little bit of fluid while I was draining this. Um, basically got to redo this entire thing. Um, well, not the radiators, but, uh, you know, our whole mess down here. And we'll get that cleaned up. All right, everyone, it's about time to do a whole bunch of wiring. Basically just taking stuff and... Like cutting this off, turning it into a three pin just to make things a lot easier. You can see on the back, I've got this green sleeved four pin to three three pins. So we can plug two of the pumps into there, um, power like the LEDs and something else. And then the other four pin connector will have an extension going into our fan controller. Um, unfortunately, I was supposed to get several packages this weekend. They all got delayed, so probably won't go much farther here, but we can at least show our pumps mounted to the radiators. really cleans everything up over here. Just got to run the wires back, so this would be one wire I'm going to cut and replace the 4-pin with a 3-pin. That way these are both 3-pin. Plug them right in. And we've got the reservoir above each pump. And then I want them to be connected down here. Um, now I'm still just kind of mocking things up, so I'll, I'll probably just have a regular fitting going across so that it's rigid and holds it together. I need to build a little bit of a frame to put both of these pumps on top of just so that they're connected together. I can move that whole unit in and out. Um, as I said, I'm going to use this one, and I have a second one of these coming to go here. And then we will just use the black tops. We'll use this one that has two ports. And then I have one coming that has three ports. They'll be connected at the top as well. So there'll be tubing coming in from our main big reservoir. Going in, feeding these. And at the same time, there'll be a distribution block that'll take the two tubes and go to each reservoir. And then an extra one on the bottom that comes down and just feeds this pump directly. And then this is the pump that will pump through all the radiators in here and back out into like this reservoir probably. This one comes down and feeds this pump. This one feeds that other pump. And then we'll also, on the other side of this divider here, we'll feed this pump here. 
This will be the one that goes through the Xbox One and back up into our main reservoir. And then the other one comes down, feeds this, feeds that one. So those will be the ones that are always pumping. And then these will be fed up through here. We've got our temperature display and two switches. So we need to also wire in some three pin connectors that will have one lead connected to these going to the switches so that these two pumps can be shut off or turned on. One will be for the PS3, one for the 360. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we got here. So you can see all this open space back here. All these wires will be fed pretty cleanly there. We won't have too much going on except for a lot of the tubing and wiring up in this direction. I might have a little bit of a plate built here to kind of hide the wires. It is a eight um, controller or eight channel controller that I have got on the way. So there'll be lots of connectors here. You can see all these three pin connectors on these fans will all just run straight across the top, the two on the front as well, and they'll just go straight to that fan controller. That way I can even shut off all the fans. Um, I could even maybe hook these pumps up to that switch instead and do another temperature display on this side instead of the switches. We'll see what it looks like when the package actually shows up. But that's it. Uh, I just stacked these here to, uh, I don't know, for no reason. That's something I could add in later on if I wanted because we have all that extra space in the back here. But, uh, yeah, that's how it's coming along. Uh, like I said, i got to wait for these other packages to finish this up. I don't want to fill the loop again, drain it, just add a few things to it. So, thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll finish this up and have the three systems on and test everything out. And then we'll get to the final touches on this build. Like, comment, subscribe.